Hey y'all, this is Chef V. Welcome to Hold on. Let me check my What's up y'all? Welcome to Healing Me First Wellness Wednesdays. This is Chef B. See some of you jumping on. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Hello, hello. Hello, 65 Diva. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. All right. So if some of you saw the uh, sort of the preview for this or the announcement for this live, you saw that I said I'm going to be making one of my favorite dishes from Guyana. Now, I haven't had this dish in its traditional form for many, many years. Y'all know what it is? <laughs> you looking? Potatoes. All right. It's called ish cakes. All right. So let me tell you, let me give you a little ish background. Cakes. Ish cakes. That's right. All right. So my children are here. My husband is here. So let me tell you a little bit about these ish cakes. So really they're Guyanese style fish no, cakes, right? No, you can't eat and with fish cakes, one of the things that they use in Guyana to make fish cakes, because fish cakes is a very, it's like a staple. You can get fish cakes when you are, like let's say you're making a dish with rice and curry and those kinds of things. You would basically add a fish cake to that as, to round off the plate, okay? And the fish cake is usually made with codfish that's been preserved. The codfish has been preserved in salt, a lot of salt. And because Guyana is so hot, one of the things that they do is they preserve a lot of the seafoods. So things like herring, codfish. Um, I'm trying to think what else they preserve. Um, they even preserve things like beef, right? Um, just so that it has a longer shelf life because it's just very hot and there's not a whole lot of air conditioning and things like that. So salt is used as a natural preservative, okay? Well, I don't eat <laughs> fish. I just don't eat fish anymore. And particularly the way it's preserved, it's preserved in like table salt. It's just, you have to boil all the salt. It's just a big process to actually make fish cakes, okay? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make ish cakes. So the ish cake, is because essentially we're taking the F off and it's the itch, it's really good, all right? So what's gonna go into the uh, fish cake or ish cake is going to be some chickpeas. We're gonna add some potatoes and then we're gonna add a bunch of spices and some good things in order to um, just make it come together and taste really, really good, okay? All right, so let's go on ahead and get started. So what we're gonna first do is we're going to, in this blender, I'm gonna actually move some of this down. If you look here, I have like my little, my little, my little plate here of all of my ingredients, right? I have some essential oils that's gonna go in, some onions, some garlic, some spices. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just bring my, my blender closer, okay? So what we're gonna to add to this is I'm gonna use, you can use chickpea, chickpea flour or we're gonna actually just use some chickpeas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add inside of my food processor, I'm gonna add in here a garlic, and maybe about a quarter cup of chickpeas. I'm gonna add in a little bit of onion. I'm gonna also add in some chives. You can also use scallions if you want to. All right, a little splash of salt, right? So not a whole lot of salt, okay? I'm also gonna add in here, I'm gonna add in here some um, parsley, right? So I'm gonna get my scissors. These are my kitchen shears, and I'm going to add in some parsley. So that's gonna go in, you can add in whatever uh, spices or herbs that you would like, okay? So we got that in. All right, I see Carol Simpson on. I see 65 Diva on. Thank you guys for showing up. And so what I'm gonna do is just, I'm blending it. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. 
it looks like that okay and then the other thing that we're going to add to this the other thing that we're going to add to this over here yep we're going to add some potato okay i'm not going to add a whole lot of potato but i'm going to add a little bit so let me show you what i did here was i boiled some potato and this is some um white potato we're not going to use a whole lot of it um, because usually when we make uh, fish cakes, we usually have a lot of potato, but we're not going to use a whole lot of potato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe take out about what's equivalent to, um, I would say, three quarters of a potato. Okay. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay. And that's going to go inside of the blender as well or the food processor. So this is how much potato we're going to have. Okay. So I'm gonna add that in here, okay? And let me say this, we use the chick, chickpea, uh, chickpeas or you can use your chickpea flour just as a binding agent, but then also, um, you know, it has protein, right? So you're also making this healthier by adding in some healthy plant-based protein, okay? Um, what I'm gonna also do before I actually blend this, I'm gonna add in some um, lemon essential oil. This is one of my staples in my kitchen. So lemon essential oil is gonna go in. So two drops. And then another staple when you're making the cakes, in this case, our ish cakes, we're going to, we're gonna add in some thyme. I'm gonna add in one drop, it's very strong. So I'm gonna add in one drop of thyme. All right, so there you go, that's thyme. So we use thyme. And we used, oops, that's the wrong one. Where's my lemon? We used lemon. It just disappeared that fast. We used uh, the thyme and we used lemon. Where did I put that lemon? Here it is. Bam. Okay. So I'm going to leave these here so you guys can see it. All right. And then I'm going to toss in here a little bit more salt. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to add in here, this is another ingredient. This is... Um, show you it's a sea vegetable okay this is a sea it's called um um wakame okay so this is wakame and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sea vegetable in and it has a really great sea taste so it makes you feel like you're eating fish but you're really not you're eating sea vegetables right um and then we're also gonna add in a little bit of panko panko breadcrumbs Again, this is gonna give it a nice crunch. And then it's also going to just kind of give it some body so that it can hold together. All right, so I'm gonna blend away. All right, for those of you who are jumping on, saying hello, hello to everybody. Shout out your city. Hey, Dr. Mundy. <laughs> hey, Dr. Mundy. All right. So we have this. Okay, we have this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some more. I'm going to add some more panko. Okay. Again, this is going to, this is going to heft it up. So that when we fry it, it has like a nice texture. So we have some really good stuff in here. If you want to at this point to add a little bit more of the herbs, like some, the parsley or, you know, whatever herbs like cilantro, you can do that. You can totally do that. But I want to show you what this looks like. All right, so it looks like this. So this is our mixture for the fish cake, okay? Okay, if you want to too, if it's, you know, like this, this is actually fine because we're gonna have a nice consistency for the fish cake. But if you wanted to, you could add a little bit more of your chickpea flour if you just want it to be nice and hefty. All right, so I'm gonna move this out the way. I'm gonna move this out the way. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get a pan going, heating it up, all right? So what we wanna do what we wanna do is we want to take this and what we wanna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna make like little cakes and then we're gonna fry it, okay? That's what we're gonna do. 
All right, so once again, like fish cakes, this is like something that we make in Guyana all the time. Um, it's usually served with a little bit of rice and then there's a dish called dal. So what you would typically do is you would make some rice. Again, this is not always the healthiest. It's usually made with white rice. Um, the white rice is definitely not the best. But what you can do is you can use, let's say, a brown rice or, you know, you can use a, a brown basmati, something that is not quite as, you know, stripped of nutrients as white rice. And then you can use some dal because dal is very much a part of our culture and what we eat. In addition to that, what they would do is they would take the rice cakes and then they would just top that on top of the rice and the dal and then you would just eat it. And it's really, really good. Super duper good. All right. So what I'm going to do, I have my oil, right? I have my oil here. So what we're going to do here is I have a little paper towel. I'm going to just wipe this out like so. Okay. So that's when it's and dry. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to add the oil. Okay. So we're going to use this to get the pan nice and hot. And this isn't going to make like a ton of fish cakes. I'll probably get like, I'm looking at this. I'll probably get like maybe three fish cakes out of this. And that's enough. That's enough. Let me taste this to make sure that it tastes the way I want it. Mm-hmm. It's good. All right. Now, I don't eat a whole lot of salt. So some people would actually add more salt to this. But for me, the flavor is super balanced and delicious. So that's what I'm going to, I'm working with that. Greetings, Miss Gloria. I see some other people jumping on. I see Kojo Aitoro. Hello, hello, hello. Shout out your city. Shout out the city that you repping today. All right. Shout out the city that you repping today. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, as many of you know. All right, so I want you to shout out the city that you are representing. Hey, TB, TMT, Debt Free, greetings to all of y'all that's coming on this live. All right, so I'm going to actually make this closer so you guys can see it. Okay, so I really want y'all to see. And I'm going to just turn the pan down so you can see it. All right, hey, Ms. Gloria. Yes, Ms. Gloria representing the ATL. All right, so I'm turning up the heat on this pan just so that we can get it nice and hot so that when we're frying, it's really, you know, it's a nice, we're going to get a nice crust, okay? And then I'll show you also how we plate this up. All right, so let me just test it and see. Is it ready? All right, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, so now let me show you what I'm going to do because I do want this to have a nice, a nice crust. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the panko in here. And I'm going to form my patty. And then I'm going to dust. I'm going to dust it with a little bit of... I'm going to dust it with... And just showing you what I'm doing here. I'm dusting the cake with a little bit of the panko. Okay? Just kind of showing you here. And then I'm going to form it. Okay, so that way it's not too sticky. You know, we get a nice crust on the outside. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to form this. Okay, so there we go. All right, there we go. Look at that. All right, so that's one. Let me put some more of the panko inside here. All right, and then I'm going to do. I'm gonna do another fish cake. Okay, I'm gonna do another one inside the mixture here of this, this paint coat. That's it. Okay, show you again what I'm doing. Right. And usually, let me say this, like, you know, from Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, you can go to Caribbean stores and they have these. So this is definitely a different version of what we, what you'll see in New York, you know, and things of that nature. Fatima Spencer's good day to you. Good day to you. All right, Akiko Denise Wellness. Hello, hello. All right, so this is nice and hot. So I'm gonna drop this in. 
and I'm gonna drop the other one in as well. All right, so we're making these ish cakes, okay? And since I, I'm just gonna make one more, I'm gonna make one more. All right, and so what we're doing here is for those of you who are joining, we're making a healthier version of a fish cake. We're using sea vegetables today. We're using some, a little bit of potato, not much. We're using some chickpeas, some parsley, and um, we're using panko and some, you know, some essential oils to give it some really nice flavor. And this is, these are fish cakes. Okay, so I'm using, I'm using the panko to crust it, as you see here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And then let's let this do its thing. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands, I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'm gonna come back and then flip it. All right? If you have questions, it looks yummy. Yes, it is, honey. It's super yummy. Super yummy. So do you guys like fish cakes? Do you guys like that? Is that one of your favorite dishes? Or not so much. You know, I grew up eating all sorts of interesting things. You would, you just wouldn't even imagine. But yes, this is this is one of my favorites. But you know, you have to always find something healthier than what you might be used to. All right. All right. Well, you have the recipe posted. What I'll do is I'll definitely post it once I um, plate. I'll give you the recipe. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> My son's looking at this and he's like, ooh, yes. You all right. Know? So be careful because I don't want you to get splashed. All right. All right. Look at this crust, y'all. This oh, crust no. is beautiful. Wait, wait, look at that. Look? Oh. look at that. Wait, you haven't it? found Mom. out. You ha haven't found out one that I like. Oh. Mom. I understand. Mom, I understand. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Yes. Like um, do you put some avocados in those? I did not put avocados in it. Do you hear what he's it asking me? It looks like it has avocados. It looks like it has avocados because it's green, right? But it's yeah. not avocados. You know what it is? Yeah. It's parsley. I know that. All right, so guys, I'm also pressing this down some. Look how pretty that looks. I'm pressing that down some so that, you know, we can kind of cook the inside. All right, so I'm pressing it down some. It looks really pretty already. Y'all see this? Look at that. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna plate it. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna plate it. But this is gorge. This is gorge. Yes, but I will post the recipe. I'll give you guys, um, I'll show you all the ingredients that's inside here. So, you know, for those of you who are interested in you know, come in and hanging out with me twice a month. I do a cooking program. It's called the Healing Me First Cooking Program. And you can mm -hmm. learn to make recipes that are super healthy like these. Tell them that I'm a cooker. Yes, my son wanted me to tell you that I that he's a cooker. Yes, he is a cooker as well. And so what if you want to learn how to make recipes like this, this, you can come. Stuff? This is called um, Panko Breadcrumbs. Oh, I thought, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought Thank that you. Was I'm talking. I thought that was soft. It just looks amazing, but I miss what ingredients were used. All right, I'll tell you in a second. Let me finish telling you this because he interrupted me. So what I was saying is that I have a, a plant-based cooking program called the Healing Me First Cooking Program. And every, like twice a month, you guys can basically jump on and you will get the recipes, you will get the menus, you will get what we're gonna make. And what we do is we cook together for um, 12 months. And when you leave there, you have some really amazing recipes under your belt. And not only that, you just basically learn some really good skills in the kitchen, all right? All right, so I am almost done here. Look at that, it's so pretty. And I'm just pressing these down, right? Looks really, really good. All right. He's so excited Mama is on live. Yes, he is, honey. Yes, he is. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, Because these are pretty much done. Remember, it's already cooked, right? It has the um, chickpeas. It has the potatoes. It has the herbs. So 
you know, there's really no big cooking that we have to do. So what I'm gonna do just to make sure that some of the oil has been absorbed, what we're gonna do is we're going to just take this paper towel and we're going to pull it out on the paper towel like so. Look, that did a little flip. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, and look, it's just so gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna pull these off like this. Okay, so look at that, y'all. Let me move this out the way. Look at that. Look at those cakes. Aren't those pretty? They're just gorgeous. All right, so how would you plate something like this? All right, how would we plate something like this? All right, so let me let me turn up my camera just slightly. All right, so we have this, you know, all the oil is being absorbed out of there, out of the um, cakes. And then what we do is we have our plate. I like to plate in like a nice platter like so, waving to everybody that comes on here, right? So I like to, you know, plate in a little platter like so. And I have this, this is like a ginger sauce. I really like, you know, ginger sauces. It's really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pour a little bit of the sauce like so at the edge of the plate. See that? And then look what I'm gonna do. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to do that. All right. So we got like a little splash. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right. So we got our splash. Let me, let me taste this. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut up some herbs and put it on the plate like this, right? See? And then I'm gonna take one of these and I'm going to put it on here like this, okay? And then I'm gonna do that, okay? So this is, this is my ish cakes. These are my ish cakes. Do you guys see how quick this was? You see how quick that was? It's not, it doesn't take long to make some amazing food, y'all. Don't let nobody tell you that it does. It doesn't take long, okay? So bam, ish cakes. What y'all think? What y'all think? Let's see. All right, bam, all right. So this is our ish cakes. For those of you who are just coming on, let me put this down here for a second. For those of you who are just coming on, today what we did was we made something that was inspired by uh, my, my background, Guyana. We made some ish cakes. Usually we make fish cakes and fish cakes have fish in there. But these ish cakes, they basically are made with some potato, we have panko breadcrumb, we have sea vegetables, we have chickpeas, and then we have a bunch of really wonderful herbs and spices that set it off and then we fry it. We fry it and then we coat it in panko so that it could give us a nice crust. All right, let's see. You guys have any comments, questions? Looks delicious. Thank you. Yes, I see Dawn on here. What's up, what's up? Some people have been asking, are you gonna post the recipe? I will post the ingredients and yeah, just a quick recipe for you guys so that you guys can try this and then tell me what you think. All right, so just real pretty. I just, you know, I'm trying to garnish the plate. Shows you guys how you can do something that's real pretty and simple. Got my little splash here and bam, that's it. I'm gonna make some tonight. Thank you, Chef B. You're welcome. And once again, I just wanna share with you a few things that's coming up. This is Wellness Wednesday, and for Wellness Wednesday, you know, we have these uh, these 11 o'clock lives for you guys. Just something quick and easy that you guys can consider adding to what you do. Um, we use, I just want to show you, we used the lemon. Where did I put it? Here it is. We used the lemon. We used the lemon, and we also used the thyme essential oils, okay? And so with that, what we what we want to do is we want to show you one how to 
uh, really incorporate more essential oils into your lifestyle. So in addition to this Wellness Wednesday Live, we also have continuing education that we do every Wednesday. It starts at 7.30. It's an essential oil, Heal Me First, continuing education series. We talk about essential oils, we talk about nutrients, we talk about everything, right? And the link for that is in my bio, so you can register for that and come out. This is every Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time you will learn some you know, some cool things about essential oils. On Healing Me First, um, IG Live, you'll learn a little something, something health and wellness, food related, uh, when you come and you hang out with me there. So we have a lot of really wonderful things coming up. Um, in addition to Wellness Wednesday, I just wanted to give you another heads up. Um, on Saturday um, at Pittsburgh Yards, for those of you who are in Atlanta, um, 45 vendors, black owned vendors will be out there sharing what they do, how they do it. And you can kind of see these black owned businesses that you might want to support. And so I will be there. Yes, that's this Saturday. It's from 10 to one o'clock. If you look on my Instagram page, you'll see the flyer for it. It's called Create Plus Breathe Love. Um, and it is going to be a wonderful event. Um, I will have some, you know, some sour lime cooler there. I might have some other quick bites there, some things for you to grab and go. Um, but yes, come on out, see, check me out. And then also you want to make sure that you check out the other vendors. Oh, that's a lot. And then the last thing that I want to tell you guys about is the cleanse that's coming up. Healing me first. Uh, well, no, that's not a healing me first thing. That's the fall in for health cleanse that's coming up on October 12th. So you'll hear about it, but we will be doing a cleanse. Pharma J and I will be doing a, a cleanse starting on October 12th for 10 days. So you learn how to make some really wonderful fall recipes. Y'all, you know, I do a lot of things in the community just to make sure that you guys stay healthy and well and supported. So I'm going to take some pictures of this before we eat it, but I know the family is going to really dig into these. But these, this is what we made today. We made some ish cakes. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. All right. So do you guys have any questions before I jump off? I'm waving to everybody. Vegan Quest. Hello. Hello. Adele, what's up, girl? <laughs> All right. So if you don't have any other questions, you know, just um, please stay connected. Um, you know, share this out. I'm going to actually um, pull the the video down and share it. So please share this with other people. And remember, we have Wellness Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, you can come here. You can learn how to make something really simple and healthy for your family. You can also learn about some essential oils that you can use with your family. We also have the Falling for Health, um, you know, cleanse coming up October 12th. And then this Saturday, you can come and meet me live and in person at Pittsburgh Yards. We'll be vending from 10 to 1 o'clock uh, just so that you can learn about all these amazing, uh, you know, Black-owned services, Black-owned companies that are out here in Atlanta doing their thing. Okay? So, you guys have an awesome Wednesday, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.